Great news, everyone. Japan's Moon Sniper Explorer is back in action. The robotic lander that was launched recently to investigate a region of the moon where the moon's mantle is exposed has resumed operations on the lunar surface after a power issue forced it to shut down for 10 days. This is a remarkable achievement for Japan and the world, and it shows us the beauty and mystery of the moon. It also shows us the potential and possibility of exploring the moon with precision and accuracy and finding new resources and opportunities for humanity. In this video, we will talk about the new images captured by the lander, the challenges faced by the mission team, and the future prospects of the mission. We will also explain why this mission is so important and exciting, and what it means for the global cooperation and competition in the new lunar space race. So, if you're curious about the moon and want to learn more about Japan's Moon Sniper Explorer, stay tuned and watch this video till the end. The first thing we want to know is, how did it manage to get back after landing upside down and losing power? Well, the lander had a backup plan. It had a solar panel that could generate electricity when exposed to sunlight. But because it landed facing the wrong direction, the solar panel could not receive enough sunlight. So, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA, decided to shut off the lander and wait for the sun's angle to change. As the west side of the moon started receiving sunlight, the solar panel began to produce power and the lander automatically restarted. JAXA announced on social media platform X that they had succeeded in establishing communication with SLIM last night and they resumed operations. The lander also captured and transmitted new images of the lunar surface using its multi-band camera. One of the images showed a close-up of a rock nicknamed Toy Poodle by JAXA which was observed near the lander. Another image showed a mosaic of the lunar landscape, featuring rocks of different sizes and shapes that were also given nicknames by JAXA, such as Chihuahua, Pomeranian, and Shih Tzu. These images reveal the diversity and complexity of the lunar region near the Shioli crater, where the moon's mantle is believed to be exposed on the surface. The moon's mantle is the usually deep inner layer beneath its crust and studying it could help scientists understand the origin and evolution of the moon. The images also reveal the location and condition of the lander, which landed about 55 meters away from its target, making it the most precise lunar landing in history. Now that the Moon Sniper Explorer seems to be back in action, what can we expect from it in the future? What is the current status and condition of the lander and its probes? and what are the expected duration and scope of the mission. According to JAXA, the lander has a limited amount of propellant left, and it is not designed to perform a second landing maneuver. Therefore, it is unlikely that the lander can use its thrust to reposition itself, as some people have suggested in the previous video. It will remain in its current location and continue to observe and analyze the lunar surface with its multi-band camera and other instruments. It also has a laser altimeter, a laser range finder, and a thermometer, which can measure the distance, shape, and temperature of the lunar terrain. This mission is expected to last for about six months, until the end of July 2024, when the lunar night will begin and the lander will lose power again. The two probes that were detached from the lander are also still functioning and communicating with the Earth. The transmitter probe is located about 100 meters away from the lander, and it is relaying the signals from the lander to the Earth. The mini rover probe is located about 50 meters away from the lander, and it is moving around the lunar surface and taking images with its camera. It can change its shape and size from a sphere to a disk. Its mission is expected to last for about three months until the end of April 2024, when its battery will run out. Both the Moon Sniper Explorer and its probes are expected to collect unprecedented information about the region of the moon near the Shioli crater where the moon's mantle is exposed. This information could help us understand the origin and evolution of the moon and how it differs from the Earth. It could also help us find water and other elements that could sustain human life and that could be used for drinking water or fuel in the future. The Moon Sniper Explorer did not have an easy journey to the moon. 
It faced many challenges and risks along the way and had to overcome some unexpected difficulties and failures. As you may remember from my previous videos, the lander was launched on August 29, 2023 and traveled for about four months before reaching the moon's orbit on December 25, 2023. It then prepared for the landing sequence, which was supposed to be a precise and soft landing using optical navigation. But as something went wrong during the landing sequence, which is that one of the lander's engines failed to ignite, causing the lander to lose control and tumble down a crater slope. It landed upside down, facing the wrong direction and damaging its antenna and solar cells. It also lost contact with the ground control and had to rely on its limited battery power. The mission team had to decide whether to shut off the lander and conserve its battery or to keep it on and transmit the landing data. They chose the latter option and prioritized sending the landing data to Earth, hoping that it would help them understand what happened and how to fix it. They also hoped that the lander would be able to recharge its battery when the sun's angle changed and resume communication and operations. But this was not the only challenge that the mission team had to deal with. They also had to deploy two probes that were detached from the lander and monitor their status and performance. One of the probes was a transmitter that was supposed to relay the signals from the lander to the Earth. The other probe was a shape-shifting mini-rover, slightly bigger than a tennis ball, that was designed to trundle around the lunar surface and beam images to Earth. This mini-rover was co-developed by the firm behind the Transformer toys, and it could change its shape and size depending on the terrain and obstacles. The team had to overcome many difficulties and risks, but they also achieved many innovations and successes. They demonstrated the precision and soft lunar landing using optical navigation, which is a world-first technology. They also deployed two probes that were unique and novel, and that could provide valuable information and images of the moon. And they also showed their resilience and creativity in dealing with the power crisis and restoring the lander's operations. The Moon Sniper Explorer is a remarkable achievement for Japan and the world, and it shows us the beauty and mystery of the Moon. It also shows us the potential and possibility of exploring the Moon with precision and accuracy, and finding new resources and opportunities for humanity. And it also shows us the challenges and risks. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.